Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. Stampin' Sue Creates here to share another fun video. So today I'm going to be doing some stamping with you. Well, I'm going to show you some samples and then I think we'll do a quick little card at the end. So I am focusing today on the December 2020 Paper Pumpkin. And if you're new to Paper Pumpkin or you don't know exactly what it is, it is a monthly subscription box put out by Stampin' Up. It is available here in the United States. It's $22 a month, and um, my animals are here to say hello. That would be my cat, Dory, and the shaking is my dog, Aurora. So um, they're here to join me because they're like, oh, Mama's talking. Let's go see what she's saying. So anyhow, um, this is a monthly subscription box. It costs $22 a month. It comes every single month. Um, you subscribe by the 10th of the month, and it's shipped to you on the 15th of the month. So it is always something fun. You never know what you're going to receive. So it's kind of like getting a Christmas gift every single month, which is a great thing. You can subscribe month by month, or you can choose to do a three, six, or 12 month subscription. You'll save a couple dollars by doing the multiple month subscription. So that way you would pay in advance and then the rest of the year, you wouldn't have to worry about it. And then you'd also qualify for host benefits because if you place an order of $150 or more through my online store at stampinsucreates.stampinup.net, you earn hostess dollars to spend or host dollars, whatever the terminology may be. So every month I like to first create exactly what is shown in the kit. And then I like to venture off and create some of my own alternative ideas. So this is what I'm here to share with you today. So this is the suggestive cards to put together. So let me show you those first. And then I'll show you some of my alternative ideas. So this is a very cute stamp set. This isn't the whole set, but oh, here we go. We're backwards, but it has this real cute bear. Let me show you that bear. So here it is when you stamp him out. And I ran him through my... Um, a brother scan and cut machine. So um, I stamped a whole bunch of them. I'm trying to gather them here on the side. I stamped a whole bunch of them and then ran them through the machine to cut them out for me. So um, I have a whole bunch because you only get so many supplies in the kit and I wanted to make a lot more bears and you know, I think they're super cute to color in. So it has the bears and it has some sayings and some other little stamps that come with it. And then also in the kit, you will receive a, well, you would have if you subscribe. This month is already too late, but um, you would have received the Rich Razzleberry uh, stamp set, stamp pad. And I have the large one, so I like to save these as either giveaways or if I'm traveling, which who's traveling these days? But anyhow, uh, they work great with our stamp apparatus because they're small in size. Same exact color, same reinker to use with them. So you get that in the kit, and then you get all the supplies to make the cards. I believe there are 12 cards you make this month. So let's take a look at these. This is the suggested sample. Super cute. You're on my mind. And of course, how many people have been on your mind lately? Now the holidays are behind us. Well, Christmas is behind us. New Year's is still yet to be. But if maybe you were late in sending out your Christmas or holiday cards, this would be a great way to send out a card just so people know you've been thinking about them. So super cute using the elements in the kit. Here's another one with these cute little koala bears. A little hooray on this one. Now the card bases are really amazing because they are printed with this gold foiling on the front. The back is just clips of coral color and then on the inside they're white. So you don't have to worry about um, stamping on this because of course it's white, you could see it. So there's another card for this month. And then this was the final one that was suggested in the kit, a little get well soon. So you know, a lot of us, it's sniffle time. So um, this is another fun little card for that. So these three, are the suggested cards by Stampin' Up. So super cute, super fun. So then let's see what I did. Let's go off the beaten path. Now, I still have a ton of die cuts and things left over, so I haven't used them all, but um, I used some of the um, things that maybe I had in my scrap basket or embellished with you know other types of things. So now here is one. 
where um, I stamped and cut out the bears and I color them in with our stamp and blend markers, which are our alcohol markers. When you purchase them, you get a light and a dark. So I like to color in with the light, outline with the dark, and then go back over and blend that together with the light again. So I did a little his and hers. <clears throat> and maybe you know someone that just got engaged or they have something fun to celebrate, or you could very easily turn this into a Valentine's Day card. Now on the background, what I did is I used our new sponge brushes that are coming out. They are wonderful. They will be available for purchase by customers on January 5th. So be sure to um, check out the new catalog that will be posted. The JJ calendar, which is the January to June catalog. I say calendar, catalog. And um, you'll be able to see that and order them. They come in a set of three. They're very nice. And I just use our ink <clears throat> to color in and sponge in some color using our ink pads. So super cute fun. So I love that card. I thought that was fun. And I used the base, the Clipsa Coral base, and just added in some coordinating cardstock underneath there. And the little um, um, punch out that came with the kit. Okay, so next up... I added <clears throat> in some Calypso Coral cardstock, did a little bit of layering, and I just thought this cute little koala bear should be looking through a window, right? So we are looking in at him from the outside. I made some little curtains with um, the inside of the envelope, and I'm going to show you a little something with that. Where are the envelopes? I want to show you. Um, I want to share with you because the inside of the envelopes... Oh, here they are. Hold on a sec. These are the envelopes that come with it. So you get the envelopes and everything. Nice little space to write in. Sorry about that. This happens every time I do a video. Now the inside of the envelopes, these are printed with these cute little lined um, papers. So, you know, I just tripped them down. I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, so that's what I use to make the little curtain inside. And I use the piece of window sheet just over the front and he's looking out from inside so i thought that was cute used some of our um stampin dimensionals to um layer that up a little bit to look like a window and i thought that was super cute so i hope you like that one this one i thought let's just outline him a little bit with some pool party and a little light sponging again with those sponge brushes and um, ran it through an embossing folder, which is the brick one, and just used some die cuts to cut out to make it look like an igloo. Can you see how it looks like little blocks? And um, again, used that inside. Um, no, I didn't use the inside of that. Oh, what I did on the background is this was one of the card bases. So I cut the front and back off, and under here, you can see I used a piece of the card front. So you can literally get two cards out of one by doing something like that. I thought that was super fun. And a little bit of pool party card base and layered this up on some dimensionals and you were on my mind. I thought that was so cute. Um, yeah, a polar bear, right? No coloring whatsoever. So for those of you who don't like to color, polar bears are the way to go. So I used that same brick folder to create this cute little card. Now again, colored him in with the Stampin' Blends. This little present is one of the die cuts that come in the kit and use that brick background. Our sponging brushes again, this was a Whisper White card base and used uh, cinnamon cider and I believe, um, huh, let me turn my uh, thing here, let me see what color I used. It was in the brown tones. I believe it was crumb cake, crumb cake, but give it a little shading on there. And again, this background piece is one of the card fronts that I cut like I did. I showed you the last one and then some linen thread, you know, super fun. And the base of the card is also cinnamon cider. So super cute card, raised them up on dimensionals. Now his little arms, when you go to, um, take one that you stamp like this. All I did was take my paper snips and just cut around the arm, left it attached up there and raised it on up. So put a little dimensional underneath the arm or you can use a glue dot. 
and um, to give it some dimension. But isn't he cute? Wouldn't you love to receive a card like that in the mail? Like, we want to hooray just because we made it through another another day, right? Okay, so here's another cute card. Again, this is the basic card base that comes in the monthly kit. A little get well. Um, color stamped and colored in. The bear, cut him out on the scan and cut. And again, here's the arm. Cut it out, raised it up. And he's holding the little flowers, which is a punch out that comes in the kit. So, so fun. This one I thought was really cute. Um, when I was making the one um, for the polar bear, okay, I had left over this piece. Can you see where the polar bear was cut out? And then this was remaining. I put a piece of black behind it to make it look like you were going through a tunnel and um, took the sponging brushes with the different gray tones, colored it all in, gave it a really nice dark color. You can use our sponge brayers on that. You could use our sponges, or you know, when the new sponge brushes comes out, come out, uh, you're gonna want those. So of course, it didn't come with the saying tunnel of love. I just took one of the little die cuts and just our basic black marker and just wrote in tunnel of love and these two little cuties are like holding a heart and it could be a cute little anniversary card, a Valentine's Day card. You know, this is our, our beautiful black ribbon that has that little bit of glitz in it. I think it's super fun. And um, just wrap that around and yeah, tunnel of love. All right, so now when I was doing the sponging, um, this one and the next one, I started with some light sponging. So light sponging on the background of the Whisper White. Again, there's that brick folder and use some of the um, very light slates. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, what is that color? Slate, stated slate, no. <laughs> Smoky slate, there we go. Smoky slate, very lightly on the Whisper White and um, two of the little bears stamped and colored in, and the little cupcake comes as a die cut, and that little heart, and you're on my mind, and it's kind of like, well, here's a cupcake for you, and here's a heart for you. So, super cute. Layered it on the cinnamon cider card base, and a um, little bit of pool party behind there, and I love that. I think that they're so cute. These little bears, they just make me smile. So now, when you punch out, do I have one? Hold on a sec, let me pull it out. Um, I have it off to the side. So when you punch out all these little rectangles and circles, you're left with these little bones. So let me go back to the window card. So the little piece that goes across, that kind of looks like the grate in a window, that's where this came from, this one piece right here. I use that to be my window frame. So then I'm like, well, I can't not use these circles. So I just trimmed around the circles, just like that. Stuck the little critters like they're underneath there. Again, the sponging on the background, a little scrap piece I had left over to cut on either side, just little strips layering on either side. And isn't that super fun? I love it. I'm telling you, the possibilities with this kit are endless. And even like the little bones, the things like this. Well, I call them bones. Um, let me get the other one. Um, and there's also this one where all you have to do is take your paper snips. Okay, now you're gonna get either or here. You're either gonna get the rectangle or you're gonna get this one that has the circle. If you just snip off, and let me make that a little bit nicer. So this was the side where the little die cut came out. How cute would that be? Um, here's the other one. You can use this for something too. Don't throw anything away. Let me grab something here. Um, let's see. How cute would that be to put him on the front of a card? You know, put that on the front of the card with something inside. So you can use even these pieces where most people would just throw these away. But I found a way to incorporate even these little, what you would call scraps or the bones left over in your cards. So I'm telling you, $22 and all of this you can do, amazing. So let me show you. I'm gonna bring in my little paper trimmer. So this is one of the envelopes. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to trim off this piece. 
Now, of course, this is too big to fit in here, so I'm just gonna fold this over, and you could see the envelope where it's put together, so I wanna kinda even that off. So I'm just going to put it in the paper trimmer, and I can see that little piece hang in there. Cut that, sorry if it's shaking a little bit. Cut that, and let me get that out of there. And then you, when you open it up, you're left with this, right? Now this piece you can save. Um, I'm gonna show you what to do with that. But what I wanna do is I wanna trim this off right on that line there. Okay, so you're left with this big piece. And then you have this piece. So this piece we're gonna take, and um, don't throw this away, because this is good real estate. Uh, not an inch, let's see, maybe three quarters of an inch. And then I'm gonna keep this too, because I can use that. So I made a little strip there. Now for this piece here, I want to cut this at um, three by six, okay? So, you know, I'm going to have to bring in my larger paper cutter. Hold on a second. All right, here we go. So, let's see. So, three by six. We're going to turn it this way because we have some little bit of green on there. So, we're going to trim this at six. And we're going to trim this at three. Okay. So, then we have these little pieces. Let's not throw these away, right? This one little piece here, I need, uh, let me see my notes. I need, I'm gonna trim off a little edge here, a one, about one, yeah, that's close enough, by one and a half piece of this. Okay, and I'm gonna keep this, because again, we don't throw nothing away, and this piece we're gonna use Okay, so now we have our three by six piece. Is it, no, not three by six, three by, wait, hold on a second. Three, three by, well, it's three by five. Okay, I thought the other one I had, hold on a sec. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, this will work. So um, we already have this little score piece here, right? So if we score at um, one and a half, oh, that's the cut blade, we don't wanna use that. One and a half, three, and then four and a half. Let me see, how did I do this now? So we're going to fold these like this. No, that's not how I did it. Hold on a sec. How did I do that? Um, let me just measure this to my card. I thought I had a three by six. Hold the phone. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, I know what I did. Okay. So I'm going to cut another envelope. But what I just cut is not going to go to waste, okay? All right. So we want this. Let me trim off this little edge. See, even the demonstrator makes mistakes, right? Right. Oh, here we go. Three by six. Here's the six. There we go. I don't know what happened on the other one. I don't know what I cut. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so there's our six. That's our whole envelope. We want to cut this at three. There we go. Now this is going to work for us. Okay, save that. Now we're going to score at um, one and a half. Now it'll work. One and a half at three and four and a half. Okay, so let's go ahead and Fold them. Where is that other one? I scored lightly because this is thin paper. This isn't like our cardstock, so you want to be careful when you're scoring. Okay, no, it's this one here. 
So this one is going to have the fold from the envelope, but we don't want that fold. We want the score line that we just did, which carefully, and again, you know, this doesn't, this isn't rock and si rocket science. It does not have to be perfect. Okay. So let's see if we got this right. I want to fold on that other one. Okay. There we go. So now what this is going to create is a little box, okay? See, you're gonna have a little box. Now the one where it has that extra extra score line, we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna fold this in half lengthwise. Because we want to either use a die cut or um, you can use a punch, which I'm gonna use a punch. I have my, uh, this is a retired Stampin' Up! punch, it's an oval. I'm gonna reach into here all the way it'll go, even on both sides, and punch. Now, this too, put that in our box because we're gonna save that as well. Okay, let's get our fold back. All right, that's good. Okay, so let's get our card and um, let's do some assembly, okay? Okay. All right. So um, I have some little twine. I tied a little um, bow with that. <clears throat> Here's the envelope. So we'll put that aside. We don't need that right now. This wire is getting in my way. I have my phone charging because um, I was using it today. I went down to the river to um, take some video. And um, the battery is getting low. So this is one of the die cuts that come with it. Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, go ahead and just put a new refill in. There we go. Use some of my stamp and seal. I'm going to go ahead and glue on this little die cut. Okay. Then um, the little bear, I'm going to pop him up on dimensionals. And these came... Um, in the box. Oh, but first, let's do this. First, we're going to, um, let me stick this back on here. Um, what did I do with the tissue? Okay. So, I have tissues downstairs, but I was too lazy to go downstairs, so I just ran in the bathroom, and I just got just a good old piece of Scott, right? <laughs> so, uh, what I want to do with this is I want to, um, I'm going to fold this corner to corner. You know, again, this does not have to be perfect. And I'm just going to cut off a piece. Like that. Okay. Now, where's that little piece? Okay, what I want to do with this is I'm going to stick this behind here. So this is what's gonna look like a little tissue box, right? Now we use our dimensionals. That'll hold that little tissue on there. And we're gonna put that in our little bear's paw. He's holding it. So this one I cut with the die cut. I cut two of his little paws out. So we can stick this in here like he's holding. Well, fumbly fingers today. I apologize for that. <clears throat> but it's not really that hard, right? Okay, so he's holding on to that tissue paper, right? That, to that tissue. Okay, there we go. Now we can put him on the front. However you want to do it, totally fine. I'm going to pop them up with the dimensionals because, hey, they gave them to us this whole big sheet. It's like a jumbo sheet of dimensionals. So I'm going to use that to go over his little paw areas that are cut out in the back. So I just love Paper Pumpkin. And I know um, if you sign up by January 10th, it's going to be a Valentine's 
related theme. And also, there's going to be an additional add-on kit to it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now um, I need a little, I'm gonna stamp a little get well soon. my little tags let's do a little circle one we could stick with the circles okay get well soon and I'm going to use the rich razzleberry the color that comes in the kit little get well soon on here okay then I think we will we will glue that on but let's wait all right, so now let's bring in this piece that we cut. How, what we're going to do with this is we're going to stick this inside. So we want that folded piece to go down on the bottom here, and then this other back piece is gonna to attach to the top, okay? Got that? Easy, right? All right. So let's put this bottom piece on here. Then you won't see that fold mark. You won't have to worry. And then we're going to just close our card on here. And then when our box, did I do that right? Oh, I have to put a little bit more, right? Yeah, a little bit more here. Oh my goodness. So then when it opens, no, I didn't do that right, did I? The one good thing with the stamp and seal is you have a little bit of time to adjust. So this is the fold line right there. There we go. Yeah, we have that little bit of adhesive there. So let's just cut another piece because you're not going to see it. Um, there's that little scrappy piece because I stuck inadvertently stuck adhesive on there. Here's what I'm going to do to fix that. I'm going to cut myself a little piece, and you know what happens here stays here. We don't tell, right? And just cover that up because otherwise it's going to stick to our card. All right, let's try this again. I promise you, it does work. Oh, I still don't. There we go. Something still is not right here. All right. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I mean, I did my first one, but no problems. Okay, this is going to go here. And then this is going to go this flat that little whole thing should be on the top Let's flip it around. Uh -huh. I hope you're still with me because um, you guys know that follow me that follow me I don't do any editing so we will get this right I know it's probably a very simple thing that I'm doing wrong oh it was I cut it the wrong way okay well, you, you get the gist of it. I am going to cut another one when I'm done with this because I have that other piece. But, oh, here we go. Here we go. A little bit more adhesive. No, I did. I was right with the adhesive there. Aurora. My dog is hacking on something. There we go. Here we go. There. So when that pops up, whew, that was stressful. And we're going to take our little tissue and stick it in there. I need a little bit more adhesive under here. There we go. So see when you open it up, it's like a giant tissue box. And um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp a little um, You're On My Mind on the inside. There we go. And tuck that in. So then when, oh, to get well soon, we have to put that on too. So let's put that on. 
and then we'll put a little glue dot to hold on our little piece of linen thread. Okay. And I don't think they gave us glue dots this month. A lot of times they give you a little sheet of glue dots, but I don't think they did. All right, we're gonna put that on, oh, I don't know, the top, the bottom, let's put it on the top. Let me fix that little glue dot. Okay. There we go. So then when the person that gets it, here's the little tissue box with a little tissue coming out, and they open it, and it goes, ta-da! This, you want to tuck that in there. Ta-da! Let me show you the actual card, that this, this sample I made. A little bit different on the uh, front of the card, but when you open it, it just goes, ta-da! And the little tissue, you're on my mind. So this one will work just fine. See, have to trim down my tissue. I have a little bit too much in there. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that made a little bit of sense. You'll see it. it it's a lot easier when you have it in front of you as opposed to my, my mumbling and jumbling over everything. But anyhow, those are um, my alternative projects um, for this month. Let me gather them all together here such a mess when I start creating. So a lot of fun, fun cards that you can create using oh, my little pop-up tissue boxes are really popping now. Using some of um, the, the things you already have in your stash, which I know we all have things in our stash. Fun little cards. I'm going to put that one under there to hold. There we go. Fun little creative cards using this month's Paper Pumpkin, which is December 2020, Berry Comforting. So anyhow, if you have any questions, please be sure to let me know. Let me look, I think, hold on. I think you're missing some of them. Yes, you are. There we go. So be sure to let me know down in the comments. I apologize for my fumbling. Things don't always work like they were planned, but that's what happens when you do a, a YouTube video. So let me know. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and um, share, share the video. The more that you like, comment, subscribe, and share, the better ratings my channel will get, and the more people will find out about it, and it encourages me to continue and creating more and more videos. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.